Hello guys, hello and welcome to another episode of Hearts Round 4, Obese America, and that's it. No mod, so let's get into it. We have, uh, well, a small, small invasion force down here in Italy. We realized it was pretty shitty, to be honest, it didn't really do anything. Um, just imagine Italy, they have just tons and tons of, uh, well, extra bonuses. So even they can pretty much kick my ass. And remember, this is not on their core territory. On their core territory, they would get 30% more defense and 30% more attack. So uh, right now, I'm feeling like my tanks are, well, the definition of um, useless. So first order business to be able to maybe, maybe counteract that a tiny bit. Uh, not light tanks, not light tanks, but two more heavy tanks, just slam it into the pile and hopefully that will be, well, make it possible for, for us to do some damage so we can actually start getting some, well, military experience. It's kind of sad that I have to leave five tanks right here, but in case of them doing any invasion right here, I need to be able to beat them back really, really quickly. And now the Japanese have done Pearl Harbor. Perfect. Perfect. Damn it. <coughs> Not too bad, but still irritating because that means they're closer and closer to be able to invade me. And uh, yeah, here they are. Japanese troops. They're getting closer and closer, and we don't have a single fleet right there. I kind of want to pull back, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Do they have anything right there? No, not as, as far as I can see. Uh, one thing I could do, to be honest, is... Let's see. I'm just going to tell one, one fleet to be just deployed right here. Then I'm going to tell it to just pass through right here. And if they ever get destroyed, then I know they're coming. So basically a pre-warning system. Uh, we have enough factories. Or actually, we, actually, this is my entire industrial base. So if they would take that, that would be horrible. <coughs> um, let's actually change that a tiny bit. I want a couple more naval factories. We're not producing anything right here. Um, let's add this. Let's add that. Yeah, that will massively increase our current fleet. 87712. Yeah, that'll be a good extra bonus of just extra ships. Let's see, right here, yeah, we're still doing quite well. I love that my, I love that I still have my carriers. It's basically they're doing everything because of anti-air guns. They have 10 anti-air guns. That's it. Uh, why are you redeployed down here? Didn't I tell you to just... Oh, wait, I can't use it anymore because, well... They're not in the war. Well, well, they're not my faction member anymore, so I can't use their port. <coughs> so they went back all the way to, well, North Carolina. I should maybe, I don't know, pick at least New England. And let's do like this, Spli automatically split off disabled and repair priority low. And otherwise, I want you to, well... Come on, stop messing with me. I want you to cover that area. Please. Thank you. Or, actually, no, I don't. If possible, I would like you to cover this area. That's probably more more reasonable, since my tanks are here. Do, but do you have anything? Yeah, you seem to have everything you need. Let's see, can we fight head-on right now? <coughs> we have a slight supply problem, but um, almost. Let's see, uh, sorry, Mr. Excellent Proposal. Yeah, sure, excellent proposal, I like it. And here we have some German Panzers. Six medium tanks. Oof, that's gonna be close. Okay, let's let's stay back with three divisions right here. And attack right here. It's over a river, but still, I wanna see. I'm... And no one can pierce him. Alright, interesting, interesting. We can't pierce him, they, they can't pierce us. <coughs> I think we need a, well, Pershing tank as quickly as possible. And probably maybe some anti-tank guns as support. Actually, I don't know if we are allowed to use that. I don't think so. <coughs> God. So, yeah, we just have to rely even more on, well, actually getting enough heavy tanks so we can actually pierce them. Let's fix that industry. To be honest, um, yeah, since I don't know if heavy tanks are allowed. <coughs> I mean, anti-tank guns are allowed. 
Um, one thing I could definitely do is just do this. No, actually, do that. And actually, you have retreated now. So, okay, let's just move in right there instead. <coughs> and we might get a tiny, tiny surround. Or not. How is the supply down here? Yeah, actually, it's bad. Just in that tiny area. Uh, let's see, do we have logistics assigned? No, we do not. Because we've not had enough, well, experience points. Yeah, we really need to get that experience up and rolling. It's, it's like, really penalizing us right now. We can't do exactly what we need to do with our divisions. Let's see, um, we don't even have a tank specialist. But one thing I do need is, well, more offensive power. So, yeah, we're definitely gonna get Eisenhower. <coughs> Sorry, 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 I hit the mic and that must have sounded horrible. Attack here at the same time now. Yeah, we are doing so badly right here because of the drain penalty. But it, like the important part is that they don't damage us. Like, we have to think about that single reason. Um, 10k losses, it's barely anything. But still, it's a hell of a lot more than they have. We just need to get to a certain position where our tanks are so good and so big and mighty they can't harm us <coughs> right now we are well not there not even close to being there so i think it is slowly but steadily adding more and more tanks actually yeah we can stay at these amount of divisions for quite a while we just need to well increase our tanks right now we need a larger army <coughs> Virginia, yeah, slowly but steadily getting more and more just normal divisions. Um, you can actually get your own division right now. Yes, something like this, and you are gonna be deployed right there now. And we're gonna give you a blue color because you like the sea, and the sea is blue. Logic there. Don't question it. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's just build our military factories like inland because if we need more well naval factories then well Naval factories can only be built by the sea of course <coughs> And how is actually our fleet doing right here? Nothing to worry about nothing to worry about uh, It seems fine We'll take some slight losses here and there some more, some more damage, but we're really not losing anything big. I think we actually might have taken down more convoys than they have done for us, so I think we're fine right now. Uh, right, Yugoslavia is in the Axis. Okay, if we just fix our line like this entire thing, can we just slowly but steadily attack them and poke them a bit here and there? Uh, the Democrats, the Republicans. Uh, let's see. Both of them removed the Great Depression. Wait, haven't I already removed it? Yes, I have. Base natural unity minus 15%. Why Why would I ever get this one? <coughs> oh, oh, I lose the New Deal. And what exactly did the New Deal give me? Infrastructure and natural unity. So I lose 5% natural unity. Okay, now I know why I want this one. Let's just stay exactly where we are. I like the new deal. Basically, we're gonna lose 10% infrastructure construction speed for 5% of natural unity. And to be honest, I don't believe those 5% is gonna make the biggest difference. What's gonna make the biggest difference if is if, well, we can actually stop a naval invasion. And stopping a naval invasion means, well, if we manage to get there in time, which means, well, having good infrastructure. And it seems like the Republic of China is really holding on. Well, China is, well, falling back quite a bit. It's, I believe this victory from Japan will come at any moment. <coughs> but I'm more interested to see when the war with USSR will begin. And I believe it might happen very, very soon. God, this would be a fight. Oh, God, this would be so bloody. Just look at Soviet Union. They basically have almost the same amount of factories as Germany. God, this would be so bloody. And let's see. Yeah, they've almost removed all the officers' purge pe penalties. Yeah, this is gonna be so bloody. It's gonna be unbelievable. Look forward to it. <coughs> right. 
Let's see. How good are the Hungarians? Can they pierce us? No, they can't. Oh god, it's just this mountain drain is really, really horrid for us. But all I need that experience. I need you to fight and basically die. But that's why I want my divisions to be as good as possible. So I don't lose that much when I just charge in now. <coughs> sure, I will lose some I will lose heavy tanks from well fighting. But I really really hope I don't lose that much men. Actually, that doesn't matter either. We have enough men. It's actually tanks I worry about. And industry, it's just that we haven't received our... Well, we haven't boosted up our industrial power enough yet. We will eventually have enough for that and more. So really, I don't know what I'm actually worried about. <coughs> eventually, we will be able to do everything we want and more. For now, we just need that experience points. But we could attack in more advantageous situation. That I agree on. Uh, one thing that we actually should do right now without any question is just get engineers. And I don't care if you're saying that, well, it's infantry, you're not allowed. Because without engineers, these tanks will just have so many penalties and be such a, well, pain, in, pain of crap. They will not be able to attack anywhere that is not flat terrain. I, I need some kind of bonus to actually be able to um, get in there. So why can't we do this? Oh, we need rubber research company. Yeah. So let's just go down right there. Yeah, we, we need engineers. I was gonna see if we could avoid it, but I can I can avoid uh, support and tank. I can support support artillery and everything like that. But I I kind of need engineers. <coughs> and remember, they won't be attacking. They're just engineers of. Um, they are fixing the roads where the heavy tanks are being transported on. So, come on, it kind of makes sense. Some people need to be the smart people who actually, well, make the roads, make the terrain, and make sure everyone can get everywhere with their new heavy uh, transport vehicles. So, it makes sense, huh? Huh? Oh, God, yeah. Engineers won't help with that entire penalty, but it might reduce it by, I don't know, as much as 5-10%. <coughs> and, well, in the big scheme of things, that's gonna be huge. And we need two more experience, or actually 1.2, to be able to do anything. So let us charge him for a while. Oh god, this is horrible. Losing so much equipment right now. In these few moments of fighting. Very very few situations where I've actually been this desperate for experience points. And there we go. Halt, stop. And let's jump in right here and make sure we have some engineers. Let's see. Actually, I want to see exactly what kind of stuff you will move. Uh, let's see, river movement, defense, amphibious forest movement, defense. So yeah, mostly movement and defense bonus. It, we still will have these attack penalties, but hopefully not as much as defense penalties. Like yeah, jungle is the worst shit ever. Mountains, it's also pretty bad, but we can also improve our engineers to help us even more. We still have the river penalty and we still have the urban one. But otherwise, well, it's pretty nice bonuses. Let's see, where was the, it for hills? Here, hills, uh, at least 10% more defense right there. So not only that we will be able to traverse them a bit better, attack will still be a bit hindered, as you saw, in the hills and mountains, but otherwise, in most other areas, it should be a bit better. Especially going over rivers and similar. <coughs> and similar things. Uh, let's see, a tackle bomber, no, nothing really here we can pick. No, actually, there isn't. I guess Amphibious Assault Expert is one thing we could go for, but let's just go for something a bit more. Let's see, motorized equipment, I guess, motorized equipment right there. Um, let's see, capital ships 10% more armor, 10% more naval firepower. Yeah, actually, that's one thing that would be useful already. Because right now we only have battleship level 1. Holy sh... Yeah. We need to fix that too. 
and you should just be deployed right there California oh I think you have been deployed right now so let's just jump back right here and this single ship like I said let's get a, give you a commander and you're gonna be on patrol on this border actually you can even keep this border I think just in case so yeah just make sure that actually we get not that let's just grab that border just want to see if you do anything right here <coughs> uh, in my faction once again but yeah it, it's still very very split between you if I should join the allies or not so I'm gonna stay out of it for now until we have a really big probably probably one or two things either one big just join the allies 200 likes or don't join the allies 200 likes something like that it seems like the allies are now trying to make a pretty big push both right here and in the south but Germany will most likely just kick the crap out of everyone and we can't of course forget about Italy this time they're also pretty goddamn strong except for that division apparently that is very bad but really the allies are just gonna win without me even against a really buff Germany then what's the fun in this well we are helping them slightly Actually, we, like someone said, I should actually send them a bunch of land lease. Start land lease. I have a bunch of extra equipment that I'm not using right now. Uh, let's do like this. Start land lease. Of all of this, I want the percentage of I produce. Let's say the 50% of all percentage I ever produce. Just every single month should be sent over. That will help them quite a bit. Well, not maybe quite a bit, but it will help them some. Uh, let's exactly see how much I am sending them. Uh, here. So, 500 weapons, 26 artillery, and 116 support equipment every single month. We could also send them just a big stock. Okay, let's, do, let's begin with this. And uh, let's see. Oh god, really we can't do? Okay, we need to do this first. How much artillery? 2.6, 52, and 10. Alright. So once, once, once. No, once. God. That only 50 is the most you can send. Okay, one second. Okay, I'm gonna hold like this. Oh, we can actually see the stockpile right there. Cool. And actually produce my day. I never thought about that. Oh, crap. I really need to hold down shift or anything. Otherwise, it will be 10. Just sending them a big stockpile right now in the beginning. Oh god. What? I need an auto clicker. Yeah, let's not focus on that one. Let's just look somewhere else so I don't feel the pain of clicking and how little this is actually gonna do because this is basically gonna be 10 divisions. Okay, screw it. I will send them 12,000 of that. Let's see, I'm gonna send them. This is going to be much more. And let's see. How much support equipment? That's also going to matter so much more than actually the infantry equipment. But let's send them a pile of um, 3,000. Actually, this goes a hell of a lot faster for some reason. Yeah, let's send them that first. Just a big, well, big extra stack. Since I do believe you have manpower right now. Yes, you do. You have increased your manpower law. So you should be able to produce a couple of divisions from that. Especially regarding that artillery and support equipment. <coughs> And you actually have insufficient convoys for all of that. Holy crap. And Germany declared war on the Soviet Union. I think actually Soviet Union will win this. Especially since, well, Germany is being harassed right here. And Italy is being harassed right here. But yeah, Soviet Union will win this. And we will just be part of the downfall of Germany. And then we'll have to declare war against Soviet Union and bring them down. Because that's part of the goal of this campaign. Uh, we already have this research very good as soon as we can we're just gonna jump up to the next one but until that moment let's just get some more battleship tech we have one experience points okay let's see how this works now uh, terrain penalty minus 53% feels a bit better even if it might not be that much better Instead, of, it feels nice not to have an ad like 80% penalty. 
they can't pierce us and well they don't have any armor that we can pierce at least so I don't know god damn it my tanks are still very very bad we need we simply need we need more of them and we also need well we need more of them first of all let's just deploy a five more right there just let's get out there now we need more tanks that's like the first rule. We need more tanks, and then secondly, they need to be larger. Since they still only have 18 combat width. God. This is a very, very slow start. I thought we would be able to just very quickly get here. <coughs> and just build up a massive army very, very quickly. And just show some real action. But yeah, it's actually been slower than I expected. Uh, outdated equipment, really? Oh yeah, yeah, the battleships. Uh, you're gonna produce one more, you're gonna produce one more, you're gonna be switched out instantly. And let's see, level two, level two. Max out, max out. Jump into that one, and done. <coughs> uh, actually, since we are going for the next one right away, this should also just be selected times one, even if, I don't even know if you will get one. Out. So actually, let's just have you on unlimited. I might just switch out almost instantly. Ugh, God, this penalty, 81%. This is probably the worst area ever for me to fight in. Going in right here with, at France would be beautiful. We do have some naval invasion guys right now that could maybe break them. No, I don't think so. They have so sucky. We need better weapons, we need more upgrades, we just generally need more stuff <coughs> <coughs> so yeah this this i thought it would be yeah i thought we would have a very quick like blitzkrieg style on them but it's just really become the quite the opposite experience being the one thing that actually is holding me back does anything right here actually gives me experience or something no <laughs> no, nothing here really gives me experience, so we can't get it. The one way we're gonna get it is basically by fighting. Fighting, Patton, and well, sending Lendlease. How much have we actually sent now to the UK? Have we sent away everything yet? Almost. <coughs> and that's, well, really is gonna make you stronger. Oh, that's Vichy France. Oh, yeah, Vichy France is beating back. Okay. I was a bit worried that France is actually taking this much territory. No, it's Vichy France beating back. And since this is their core territory, they are retaking it for themselves instead of giving it back to Germany, which might be a tiny bit weird, but fine. So, yeah, um, let's actually do something about this. This is the worst territory we could possibly be in. This is just in mountains, hills, it's just horrible. Yeah, never mind. We're gonna jump back right here and see if we can do anything. So, yeah, before you go anywhere, just... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Right, well, weren't we gonna do something right here? Yeah, I think so. Uh, how supply down here? 29. But for that, we almost need to say we are in the Allies. <coughs> how good is Spain? Uh, not the best. And if I would fail with this, that would be kind of bad for the allies. But for me, oh well, same thing, same thing. And I think I can really get my experience points here that I need. Oh, wait, wait, we should probably cover our fleet first. Uh, convoy escort. Just cover our fleet's movement back to Gibraltar. Because I, I really wanted to... Oh, wait, you already have divisions right here. Yeah, then supply will be extremely bad. <coughs> Come on, just jump in right here and let's check this supply, just drop. Drop it. Manhattan Project, Liberty Ships. Hmm, sure, Amphibious Invasion Speed Plus. And okay, it's gonna be fine, I think. If they just only upgraded this a tiny bit more, it would be very nice. Four experience points, I want another f five so I can add one more tank and then be, well, we're done for the 20 combat with. Then I want to go up to 40. Because generally these stats aren't the worst. 
it's just they're not super good either. Especially not against a super boosted enemy. Just a tiny bit more and we can get this show on the road. And meanwhile that's actually happening. You could actually be training. Sure we will get a very tiny amount of training from you. But it's at least something. And all I'm wasting is infantry weapons. Infantry weapons I can afford. Tanks I can't afford just throw away left and right. So yeah I need 5 experience first for the combat with. Um, right here and I need 10 experience to get the logistics guy because that's gonna be huge especially for tanks <coughs> U10 should be able to well get an order like this and you should also be able to do it which is the big thing do it okay that might actually turn from this is possible to this is too much how good are the divisions just around me oh crap they're actually quite big but, yeah, the average strength is also very, very high, so they would probably be able to beat the crap out of me. Huh. Or at least I would be able to defend this area. I refuse to think that they, I wouldn't be able to defend this. Just stay here, sit still, and defend that area. I refuse that I won't be able to do it, because then, well, well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> How, how bad would these tunics be? But at least let's get our stuff right here. So heavy tank destroyers, let's get basically everything right here. Actually, first of all, let's get the heavy SP artillery. <coughs> because if we really want that soft attack against those units, we're gonna need... Well, we're gonna need big guns against them. So I should have... I should... Okay, the plan was for me to take that instantly, basically day one since I began this episode, but I completely forgot about it, so yeah. Whoopsie. I was, I, I was thinking like, I had a plan. Why can't I beat them? All right, because I didn't have this. So let's fix it ASAP, and I began the episode, and I completely forgot about it. Whoopsie. Ah, oh, god damn it, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Why are you so stupid? <coughs> uh, we need a hell of a lot more chromium, please, Soviet Union. Yeah, sure, let's trade with you. Vichy France have basically beaten back this entire invasion, pretty good. And Germany is... I don't know, are you pushing in or... or no, you're actually losing. Germany is losing. I want to see the losses in that war right now. Let's see, um, here, Germany, Soviet Union, 100,000 versus 500,000, but you have now, well, doubled your divisions, <coughs> comparing with Germany, so that would be interesting to see who actually will win this war. Will Germany be able to beat the crap so much out of you so you will lose all your manpower? It all depends on if you have saved up ma uh, police power, right? You could lose these 2 million men before you actually have a chance of increasing this. But if you just have blue power, then it should be fine. You are already on all of the serve, but you have gone to total mobilization, the same as Germany, to squeeze out more power. Well, we'll see what happens once I declare war against Spain. <coughs> it might be a tiny bit unnecessary to trigger an enemy we are not at war with, but right now I kind of need to do it. The experience, the landing ground, the staging ground, because having a front line right here and push up would also be pretty goddamn good. And I then I don't need to rely as much on the well marines right here. <coughs> Romania wants an autographic pack, yeah you can Yeah, no. Um you could actually train a tiny bit. Just probably get this up because we should have some tanks spared. No, we definitely do not. I never actually looked at if we had enough tanks to do this increase. So, how, oh, I wait. Don't you probably have tanks? Yeah, you probably have. Okay. Um, how can we do this without wrecking us? Okay, we need to wreck us. Okay, let's just do this. High priority right there because apparently I hadn't gone that. Let's see. There, 100 production. And now we can get a couple of lines out. Everyone should have their equipment right now. This is only for new deployments. This is high priority on reinforcements. Very good. And we can declare this war. Let's see. The big question is, I'm going to try to push out right here. 
Okay, can you just... I can't attack right here yet. I need United Kingdom to join this. I need United Kingdom... I, n I basically need them to join the Axis and join their war. But if they don't join that, then I can't actually invade them. Come on, just, just join the other war. Be very aggressive too. So, there we go. Exactly, go, go, go. <laughs> attack on all sides at the same time, so you can't support each other. Because we have enough to be able to cover everything. Uh, none of them can be well pierce us, and we're doing good amount of damage. Finally, we're doing something, and we're getting a nice amount of experience points. Ugh, this took a very long time. Damn it, Daniel. You should have just gone here instantly. How could you forgot about forget about this? Let's just get both the SP and the anti-tank. And now low supply is penalizing us because, well, we might have destroyed a tiny bit of the infrastructure right here. But yeah, this is the real damage. Now you just need to get your experience point, you just need to get your SP guns and everything will start to actually flow a bit better. And we also have better land to defend or to attack from, which is the, well, the greatest thing. Ugh, that... Damn, Daniel. How can you be so stupid sometimes? Let's see, uh, excavation tech, nah. Oh, encryption and decryption, yeah, we need that now. Or let's see, yeah, that's 270 days, let's grab that one first. But yeah, this is exactly what I need, just a constant enemy that I will be able to fight against. Come on, ju we just need to push one, one single line right here. <coughs> just get in there, good. Now you need to attack from this side. Just basically open up these fronts a bit more, get more naval stuff. There we go. Grab Seville if you can. Just increase the supply area right there so we can get a really good defensive position right there. <coughs> and you can continue forward and help them. Seville is taken. Oh god, that would be over a river. Liberty ships, thank you. One thing that is the big penalty is that United Kingdom will get everything. So they will be the one who focus when something is built and some, well, when something isn't built. <coughs> so we'll basically just have to trust in them. But alright, um, everything, well, fine, things are finally going and we finally have a staging ground to invade the Axis from. Which is basically what I wanted to succeed with during this episode. So I will actually have to hold it right now. Just relax, take it easy for a while, and we'll see what we can do in the next episode, because I need to leave for work. Thank you guys for joining me for this episode, hope you liked it, hope you comment, hope you subscribe, and I'll hope I'll see you next time. Bye, and bye.